Now we have, this opens up the Kodu settings. You have to actually do that before you um, run Kodu. So there are just a couple things here we want to take a look at. Everything on here is, is pretty good except for two settings. We have the display setting and the save folder setting. The first thing that's nice to do is to make Kodu get larger. Now, if I was not recording a video right now, I would just click full screen. That's the easiest thing to do. That way your Kodu takes up the entire screen of your, of your computer. It works quite well. Uh, the other thing that we can do is we can check our screen re resolution on our computer. So I can right click on the desktop, any empty area of the desktop, click screen resolution, and see we have 1366 by 768. That's specific to the laptop I'm using right now. Um, and we can set that uh, on here. Um, for some reason, it's not giving me the options. I think if I click full screen, it gives me the actual options here. Um, if I unclick full screen, it gives me some standard options, and that's fine. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and click 1280 by 720 widescreen. Remember, on your computer, you'd probably want to click the full screen option. The second thing is the save folder. So, um, so we actually want to choose where we're going to save all our Kodu work. Uh, you'd probably want to go into, into your My Documents and create a folder somewhere in your My Documents and choose that folder. For me, I've, I've made a folder... Um, on my desktop uh, called Kodu. I'm going to click OK there. OK, so those are the basically those are the basic settings for the configure Kodu. We go ahead and click OK, and we're ready to launch the Kodu Game Lab. Double click on the Kodu Game Lab, and it will open right up. It does take a second to start up. Um, You'll notice that um, it takes a second to start up, and yours might give you a video when you first start it. You can just click Escape uh, on that video. We are just going to create a very basic game just to start out with. We're not going to look at any advanced settings, just a basic game that you can control. So we're going to click on New World. Okay, and this is the basic world that comes on when, uh, when you first get Kodu. Um, so let's go ahead, let's take a look at your, um, at your uh, controls here. We have drag terrain, orbit camera, and scroll wheel zoom. Uh, so that's the left click mouse if we're, okay, so, and notice how this, so this is the, uh, the context menu up here. So notice if I change the, uh, to a different icon, the main menu is on the bottom, right, are all these icons. Notice if I scroll over them. I get a different context menu in the upper left-hand corner. So if I scroll over the Kodu, notice that a different context menu appears. That context menu up here in the upper left-hand corner um, tells you the different things that you can do with that tool. Okay, so we have our, have our main toolbar at the bottom. That's what you'll mainly interact with. And then we have our um, context menu at the top, or description of the context menu. Okay, so let's take a look at the main menu bar. We have our home button that will get you out to the main menu. So if I click on that, oops. <coughs> Notice that gets us back out to the main menu. I click edit world again. I can also click play. Uh, so now I'm actually playing the game. And I have to press escape to get to edit. I can also, the hand is the drag terrain, so if I left click and pull, I drag the terrain. Okay, and if I uh, right click and pull, I actually hit the camera, so I actually can, can change my viewpoint. Now the best way to be using this is with a scroll mouse, because then the scrolling is very easy. My mouse, mouse pad on my laptop has a scroll uh, option where you have two finger if uh, two fingers are present on the scroll pad next to each other, you can actually zoom in and out. So that's how I'll be zooming in and out. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead. Remember, we're just making a basic game here. So let's go ahead and uh, add our Kodu. And our, our game is just going to be to drive the Kodu around the, uh, the game area here. So let's uh, click on Kodu. Okay, so we click on the Kodu tool. 
Now we're going to move over and move our mouse up over the, the, uh, the actual game area. We're going to right click and select add object. Okay, so now when we get our add object um, uh, uh, menu here, uh, we have a lot of different options. Okay, we have a rover, we have a kodu, we have apples, we have stuff. Today we're just going to go ahead first one we're just going to add a kodu and that's it. Okay, so our kodu comes on the screen. Now notice what happens. So the kodu is just going to sit there. When I mouse over the kodu, okay, uh, it's going to give me this uh, program menu. Now watch what happens. I have to be in the kodu tool here. Okay, so I have to be in the, sorry, the object tool. I have to be in the object tool to get this menu. Watch what happens if I'm in the uh, the move camera tool. So if I'm in the move camera tool and I go over the code, nothing happens. I have to be in the object tool in order to get that menu. Okay, so if I click over the object tool, Kodu. Notice it tells me, do you see the little icons here where it has a mouse and it tells you left click or right click? So if I right click, I can drag the Kodu to the location. If I right click, I can actually get a program menu. Okay, so there's my program menu. I'm actually going to go to program. Okay, now when I'm programming the Kodu, this is the standard way that you program in Kodu. So it's when something happens, do something else. So we're talking about the Kodu, so we're inside that first Kodu that we had. So we say when, and this is going to be controlled by the keyboard, so we're going to say when the keyboard is pressed. Okay, we don't know what on the keyboard, right? So when keyboard, and now this is going to specify the next action. So we click the plus again. And it gives us a quick way to add motion to a Kodu. Now we could go in and program each individual key uh, as, a, as an individual key, but um, Kodu knows that the Kodu Game Lab knows that we just want to control the Kodu. So it gives us this, this uh, special thing, these arrow keys. So we're going to control the keys with the, or sorry, we're going to control the Kodu with the arrow keys. So we say when the keyboard arrow keys, and we could add another one here is not, right? We kind of run out of things to, to press. Notice how I got out of that menu. Uh, I just clicked off of it. We can also right click on any tile and we can cut the tile. So we say when the keyboard arrow keys are pressed, do, so I'm going to go ahead and click. We're going to say move and we're going to say quickly, move quickly. Now we don't want to give a direction or anything because obviously each arrow key should be a different direction. So we're just going to say move quickly. And this setup right here, the keyboard error, when keyboard arrow keys do move quickly, that will give us enough to control our Kodu. So let's go ahead and exit out of here. Again, notice it gives us um, these, these key combinations here. So we can go ahead and press escape to get back out of the uh, Kodu, or sorry, the out of the object um, program menu. Okay, so we now have actually enough to have like a basic game. So let's go ahead and we're going to click play. Okay, and now we're playing the whole game. So notice as I click the keys, the Kodu will start to move around the, uh, the game. Board. Okay, and there it goes. So we're driving around the game board here. And then when I'm done testing the game, I can press escape. Okay. So let's say that's all I wanted to do for today. I just wanted to make kind of my basic Kodu, um, my basic Kodu work correctly. Okay, now the game has not been saved yet. If I just turned off my computer at this point, nothing, I would come back and nothing would be in Kodu. Okay, so we have to go ahead and save our game. So let's click on the home button. 
And now we get our home menu and we can click Save My World. Okay, and I'm going to call it First Game. My description con going to call it the first game I made in Kodu. Okay. And so we go ahead and click Save. And there we have it. Let's go ahead and exit out. We can click escape here. Oops. We can click exit to main menu. Okay, now let's say that I want to go, well, I, you know, I close out of Kodu and I come back in and now I want to go back and I want to edit that world that I was, that I was uh, uh, using before. I can click load world. Okay, and I can click My Worlds, and notice how my first game comes up right here. I can click that, and I can click Play. Okay, and notice that when I click Play, I get back into the game. I can press Escape to edit it, and I'm right back where I was. Okay, so this that is your first, uh, first lesson, Kodu. We configured Kodu. We created a new world to play. We added a Kodu and we're able to control it and we saved our world. Okay, so go ahead and give it a try. Good luck.